and this is 2021 cash flow statement so here the information given and then they ask in but to prepare cash flows in operating activities in direct method and indirect method both. So this is a bit different that compared to the other uh, past papers because here you have to only prepare operating activities, but you have to prepare operating activities under uh, based on direct and indirect both. Right. So we will look at uh, first the direct method. So here sales and cost of sales and DC information is given and uh, opening and closing balances given and the additional information as well. So first one, all sales and purchases are made on credit basis. So which means from that there is no any cash purchases or cash sales. So which means you have to find out data receipts and credit payments. So here the data control account opening balance and closing balance is given. So the opening balance of data is 6,000, closing balance of data is 5,200. And the total sales you have to debit to the debtors control account. Then you can find out balance in this data control account. You received 25,800 from debtors. And when it comes to the creditors, so first of all, you have to find out purchases. So to find out purchases, you have to go with cost of sales. So here in the income statement, cost of sales is given 15,000. So how to find out the cost of sales? Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. So here opening stock and closing stock is given and the cost of sales is also given. So just in that, you can find out your purchases. So your purchases is 15,600. So this total purchases 15,600, you have to uh, the credit to the creditors control account so creditors credit 15600 and you know the total uh, opening and closing balance of of creditors it's given here so the creditors opening 4250 closing 3500 and recording all the opening balances and closing balances and the purchases then you can find out what is the amount that you paid for the creditors so you paid 16,350 so the cash received from debtors is a, a cash inflow and paid to the creditors the paid amount is cash outflow both comes in operating activities and then operating expenses so operating expenses given here the prepaid operating expenses asset opening and closing and the operating expenses given here 4,500 but this 4,500 includes 1800 depreciation so the operating expenses prepayment opening and closing balances here and the amount that recorded in income statement 4500 and that depreciation you have to debit to the operating expenses then you can find out what is the actual amount that you paid for operating expenses in cash so that is cash outflow under operating activities and then interest and tax. So here interest and tax given uh, payable as at opening and closing. Uh, so first of all, this interest. So the finance expenses all entirely uh, is uh, referring to the interest expenses. So the interest expenses, 1,500. Uh, so interest account debit, 1,000, sorry, credit 1,500 from the income statement. And the interest given asset opening and closing the payable amount 650 and 400 then you can find out uh, the amount that you paid for the interest is 1750 that also comes in operating activities and the tax so the tax uh, in the income statement for the year is 5000 sorry thousand and the tax given asset opening and closing 450 and 300 so which mean you paid for tax 1150 so the interest paid and tax paid you have to record in operating activities and there's a specific layer under operating activities to record interest and tax payment done in cash so that's it for the uh, direct method right yes and yes i'm doing a lot of personal tutoring individual small group classes so do share with your friends so based on indirect method, 
you have to get the profit before tax as base. So your profit before tax here given 5,000 rupees. And uh, the finance expense, the interest, you have to add in the adjustments. Why? The interest exp expense is an expense. So this interest expense is already is deducted when you are finding the profit before tax. But there's a specific place to deduct the interest paid in tax. So you have to reverse the interest expense here from here from the adjustments. So which means you have to add back the interest expense that present in the income statement. And then you have to find out the interest paid in cash and then deduct, then deduct that at the end, right? And the depreciation you should uh, add. And the motor vehicle disposal profit you should minus because those are non-cash transactions. And here the interest income given 400. So that interest income that relevantly investing activities, not to the operating activities. But this interest income is already added when you're finding the profit before tax. So you have to reverse that debt, right? So yes, and then the working capital changes. Uh, Current assets increasement we consider as cash outflow and decreasement we consider as cash inflow and current liability increases cash inflow and decreases cash outflow. And then you have to minus the interest paid and tax paid that you found earlier. So that's how you are preparing uh, this operative uh, activities cash flow based on indirect method, right? Okay, so we will connect, we will uh come from the uh the next one 2020 two error questions so until that good bye so please do share and do comments and yes yeah